So. <laughs> All right, I'm done. All right, so Playboy finally has people talking about the articles. Well, one anyway. It appeared on the MAG's website, and it featured a list of evil, hateful, conservative women they still wanted to sleep with. Only they used the word we can't. It's a two-syllable word that stand, starts with hate and then rhymes with truck. You can figure it out. Right, Guy Cimbalo, there's a way to reach across the aisle without letting principles fall by the wayside. We speak naturally of the hate F. We may despise everything these women represent, but <laughs> they're hot. Let the healing begin. Among the women on the list, oh, our dear Megyn Kelly, Michelle Malkin, and Mary Catherine Ham. How dare they. Right, Cimbalo of the last woman, you get this one pregnant, she stays pregnant. Karma's a bitch, isn't it? That's not even an original joke. So we contacted the writer to come on, but no word. He was probably locked in a bathroom. Anyway, the article is gone. Apparently, Playboy had whipped it out and then yanked it. That's <laughs> ironic. Anyway, here to talk about the feature is one of the women who was ranked the lovely and delightful Mary Catherine Ham, staff writer for the Weekly Standard and Fox News contributor. Mary Catherine, how do you feel about the writer's description of you? Well, as a nod to my Neanderthal sort of throwback uh, backwoods <laughs> ideology, I thought about having my male relatives come on and defend me with shotguns. Yeah. But uh, I decided to come on and talk with my own mouth. <laughs> Imagine that. If I had just kept it shut from the beginning, maybe my uh, career would not be being denigrated by the guy who writes the hate <laughs> column for Playboy. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> now, is it being on the list kind of a compliment? Because he's saying that although he despises your ideology, he obviously still wants to be with you. Oh, I'm I'm touched and uh, and and should by chance he get me pregnant? Heaven forbid! I would actually have it. So yeah, karma is a problem. Uh, well, isn't there, Mary Catherine? Isn't there an assumption here that sexism is okay as long as it's yeah. directed at non-liberals? If the dude had directed his venom uh, at the left, there would be hell to pay. Oh, there would be huge yeah, discussions about this. There would be, uh, you know, unending discussions on Sunday talk shows about this this week, had this been liberal women. The fact is, and I'm friends with some liberal women who are not full-time feminists, who are very sweet, uh, but to some extent, uh, the fact is that if you're a conservative, you're not considered uh, an authentic woman in the same way that uh, black conservatives are not considered authentic blacks, and uh, gay conservatives are not considered authentic gays. So you don't actually warrant the respect and tolerance that other uh, minorities Minorities yeah, on, and, yeah. and oppressed peoples are, are allowed because uh, you're a race traitor or a gender traitor with Stockholm syndrome is what they how feel. Dare, how I mean, dare you line. call Greg an unauthentic gay? Hey, Mary Catherine, I think authentic. we have a picture of the guy. Let's see the picture here. I think we have him. There he is. So this is the guy that, uh, uh, what do you think? No, <laughs> not going there. <laughs> He's a good-looking man. I don't know. I think I, I think you guys could hit it off in a perfect world. Um, now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tee off on the guy or Playboy. I mean, but because they actually pulled the article, so obviously they thought something was wrong. Was that good enough for you that they pulled the article? Probably not the only thing he's pulled today. <laughs> uh, you know what? But, oh, go ahead. No, no. I would actually, I would actually rather the article stay, mm -hmm. so that this guy has to deal with this for the rest of his career. And I would like uh, Playboy to come out and say, "Oh, this was inappropriate that we let this guy enact uh, his rape fantasies on our blog today. Mm -hmm. uh, we apologize for that." Uh, and, you know, it's just ridiculous, the double standard. That's what bothers me more than this loser guy. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mather Mary Catherine. You know, they, only could, they could only do this list with conservatives because they couldn't come up with 10 on yeah. the other side. It's a fact. All right. Uh, take I'm care. Not even... Best of luck. All right. Hey, Greg, I'm going to go to you first. Yeah. Our very own Megan Kelly was on there, and she's like a yeah. sister to us. Don't you want to pop the guy in the nose? I do want to <laughs> pop the guy in I mean, who uses terms like this except serial rapists? Mm -hmm. And it's classic Hef, who, you know, I don't know if he's a serial rapist, but he surrounds himself with, you know, these, Sack these pajamas. Sort of brainless, <laughs> boob enhanced sycophants who are probably too stupid to consent. Mm -hmm. um, but she ought to say, listen, I'm mad about it. She's a friend of mine. She's a lovely person. She ought to sue for defamation. She, she would have grounds for it. I don't, I don't how could it, can you explain to me how could it be defamation? He's just basically making fun of her. It doesn't have to be a false statement. It could be any statement that damages your reputation, mm -hmm. and arguably it does. And she could sue on other grounds as well. If that's but, the case, I could sue Greg. Every single I know, red absolutely. eye. Absolutely. I mean, Greg, this is actually well, we're scaring talking me. after the this show. Is scaring me. I got a lot of stuff on tape. But at least Greg's not a, a sexist misogynist like him. Oh, you, you could be more wrong. Could be more wrong. <laughs> it's hey, all on tape. Hey, Noel, you're not a conservative, but if you were on the on this top ten list of HFs, would it offend you, or would it take you take it as a compliment? 
I, would, I wouldn't take it as a compliment. But but here's my question: Why is Playboy still around? Yeah, you know, honestly, great it's question. still irrelevant. Yeah. Like, why? I mean, aren't we partially to blame for the fact that we're? You know, obviously somebody is buying this. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it really a surprise that Playboy hates women, considering that you know most of the women in there you know look like little girls from the waist down? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think anybody ever thought that they empowered women. Mm -hmm. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, now, unless the girl is like totally nuts, what kind of guy ranks attractiveness based on their political beliefs? Wasn't that just really the article just an, an excuse to rag on women who were politically the opposite of everybody in the print media or in magazines? Yeah, totally, which is why it's pretty imbalanced and largely unfair. But here's the thing. I thought, naively, that pornography was the last bastion of sort of a political status where you didn't politicize it, you just had naked girls. Yeah. And in Playboy's case, it condoned granddads having sex with a lot younger women. Um, so maybe they should just concentrate on what they do. And as has just been pointed out, maybe it's photographed or, um, you know, just move into politics and stop doing porn, mm -hmm. one or the other. There you go. That's a good point. Like, remember whenever a uh, hustler tried to do anything political? It was always unbelievably lame. Have I you ever laughed at any of the Bill, jokes I don't, I never remembered anything about hustler. That's I was I was seven years old. <laughs> oh, hey, man. hustler still exists. I was a little old. Yeah, but, hey, Bill, Bill, are you mad that you didn't make the list? As a conservative woman, I am absolutely offended. <laughs> Although, uh, I haven't been waxing well, so I'm glad I didn't have anything revealing in this. I, I'm usually the captain contrarian on the show, and I was trying to find something in this article that I could defend. And I couldn't, but I will give him kudos for remembering to put the Y in Megan. Yeah, that is good. a sneaky little <laughs> devil. That, that was good. Oh, actually, I can't get you know, you, you know, these guys, they probably, probably has no editor there watching him. And he's Clearly. Because it, 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 it wouldn't have made it in if, if somebody had actually read and said, don't put this thing in there. That's like, it's just kind of, it's gross. And it's too, it was a desperate attempt to be edgy and it, and it backfired. You know, I, I just picture Hef walking around in his silk pajamas, you know, popping Viagra pills. And, and he has, he's lost all control of what he thought was his great, you know, yeah. empire. And, yeah. it's, it's he, and the Viagra's just so he can walk. He needs exactly. a blood flow to his legs. <laughs> right. Uh, Everything yeah. else is done for him. All right, now to some more news from moral bankruptcy to a financial one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Playboy, Greg, you mentioned we contacted Guy Simbalo, the writer of the article, and he never got back to us. I did speak to Teresa Hennessy, the Vice President of Public Relations for Playboy Enterprises, Inc., and she sent me the following statement, quote, Playboy has a long and proud history of supporting women's organizations and has been an advocate of equal rights for women since its inception more than 55 years ago. The feature on Playboy.com was by no means intended to insinuate or encourage violence against women, something the organization adamantly abhors. Mm. Then what was it intended to do? Well, she told me the reason the article was pulled because of, uh, was because of the insinuation of violence. I asked her, well, how did this slip through the editing cracks, you know, and she said it actually didn't, it's just that nobody realized it would be misinterpreted. Oh, yeah. I hate those cracks. So yeah. I asked her, since it was being misinterpreted, what was it intended to be, as you just asked, Greg, uh -huh. uh, and she said it was meant to be a tongue-in-cheek article like they do with sexiest women sportscasters, etc., but when they realized it wasn't coming across like that to a lot of people, they took it down. <laughs> I can see how they confused them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm trying to imagine all the people editing those back-and-forth emails that they were having. That was a a team of people replying to you, Andy. <laughs> One person. <laughs> Teresa. She was, already, she was very lovely. Yeah. yeah. You just want to get tickets to the mansion. Uh, already done, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not such a bad article after all, now you're saying, Andy. Yeah. Can't really find fault with it. <laughs> uh, Noel, you said obviously somebody is still buying Playboy, but of course this article was available online for free. And now, if you go to the link where the article used to be, you get an error page that says, we're sorry we couldn't find the page you requested. Let us make it up to you. Click here to get one free week in the Cyber Club. <laughs> so I clicked on the link for journalistic purposes. And it turns out you, to get your free week, you have to give them your credit card info. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 You don't have credit cards, do you, Andy? Uh, no, I use bills. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you know what journalistic purposes means, actually. Uh, I'm sorry, were you talking to me? No, continue. Okay. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, Kevin, thank you for being the only person to point out that pornography should be politics free. <laughs> the only sensible person here. You are very welcome, as always, Andrew. I appreciate it. I appreciate politics it. Politics free and very handsome today. As are you, my friend, as are you.